Happy Stitch Mania, friends! Happy day three. My name is Carrie. This is Tag Lily Designs. Welcome to a guest room in my home. Um, this used to be Noah's room. I thought I'd come over here. I was walking by. It is a gloomy, rainy day here in Northern Virginia. And so I was like, where am I going to go where the sun is shining? So I'm walking down the hallway and this used to be Noah's room. It, it, it's still going to be his room. Um, for the time being, but right now it's staged for selling the house. And so I've got, I was like this purple dresser that I painted. This was Patrick's mother's dresser. And so I did a faux finish purple paint on it. And I was like, that's fun and colorful and things. So let me just plop on the floor. The light's coming in this front window. So perfect. Anyway, welcome. My name is Carrie. My channel is not about furniture refinishing. I don't know why I started there, but here we are. Um, I've got some stitchy goodness for you. Stitch Mania featured designer every day. So let's just dig right in. Today's stitch featured designer is a totally new to me. I found her um, about when I was starting to, to do the planning and the processing for Stitch Mania. And um, I kind of like deep dive into Etsy and get time sucked and then hours and hours go by and I've got too many things on my favorite list. But this featured designer, her, the name of her shop is Home Stitch Ness. The designer's name is Jenny. She is originally from New Zealand. How exotic. Um, but she lives in America now. I think moved here in 2008 with her husband and now makes her home in the Midwest, US somewhere. And she is a cross stitch designer. She started her company. She's been stitching since I think her grandmother taught her when she was little. And she decided back in 2008, um, when she came over, she started designing and was coming up with the name of her company. And she was homesick, homesick for New Zealand. And so she was Googling, although in 2008, was there Google? She was web searching. And it, she put in, she was trying to figure out if there was already somebody who had the name Home Stitchness. And instead, Google's like, did you mean homesickness? And she's like, well, if that doesn't mean it's serendipitous, I don't know what does. So that's how she came up with her company name. I thought that was super sweet. And so now she designs. She's got some great designs. Um, all of them. She is a frequent so maybe if you get the world of cross stitch magazine, I do not. So she was new to me, but she is common. She's in that one pretty regularly. I will link her website as well as her Etsy shop down below. So her website um, will give you details and it will tell you like she was just in the 2022 January episode, um, magazine in the fall, lots of 21, Christmas of 21, lots of things. But what I'm going to show you today, I fell in love with immediately. Now, if you followed me during Flossmas, you will know my love of the Redbird Cardinal. Um, we all know the story of when you see a, a red cardinal, it's someone from, from afar coming to, coming to, to say hi. And I definitely, um, drink that Kool-Aid and, and, and I love it. So I was stitching cardinals a lot during the winter. And this is the first time I had ever, of course you see cardinals in the spring and of, you know, out on my walk this weekend, I saw, I saw one and it was just like, hi. Um, but I don't see a lot of patterns with this spring cardinal. It's more like a winter cardinal in the snow and the red just strikes against the white snow. So, but so when I saw this pattern by home stitchness, I knew this had to go into my spring dough bowl. So let me just show you the pattern that I got. So all of her patterns are PDF. They're beautifully finished. It's got a nice cover photo that you can print out, but let me zoom in. Um, and show you, look at that sweet cardinal in the strawberry basket. Berries in a basket. I'm sorry if the glare is kind of making the um, print a little hard to read, but let me give you a little bit of the details on it. So here is my project information card. It says 63 by 71. It's a lot of colors, um, approximately 15 or so. You can see I did a lot of color conversions. Hopefully you were able to snapshot that if you wanted to see. 
I think I converted every single color. I stay try to, um, cause I'm pulling from stash. That was the, the reason why I'm changing things. So it's a nice three page detailed, um, it actually might be more. I might've just printed the one. Um, lots of details, the information, the notes. It's just fantastic. So what I am stitching mine on is a 14 count. This one's better. It gets a little blown out when I get closer. <gasps> so sweet. So of course I had to do the red cardinal just to get it. And then the, um, piece of basket and then I've got a couple of the berries can't land I'll be honest with you this one got almost two hours worth of stitching it wasn't all last night but it got almost worth this uh, two hours worth of stitching on it because I really really like this pattern and so I wanted to um really hopefully get it so it can get finished but so some of the colors I used again hot mess Amazon bag but the key was, is I've got a Miss Sadis green for the silk. Um, and then I also just pulled a couple, couple of, there's a two tones of green. There's two tones of red and the cardinal and the berries just to give it some um, variegation and color. So I'm a big believer that sometimes designers chart, you know, a two color flower. And I think I did this with that lily basket one where she charted the pink in two reds or two tones, but both the flosses that she chose weren't super variegated. They're just kind of like solid colors. So instead, as a way to kind of speed things up a little bit, um, I, use, I get my variegation by one floss that's more variegated than the original called for. Just something to think about if you're kidding up and you're like, oh my gosh, that flower has four stitches of this red and 20 stitches of this red. I wish I could just do that four. Like, so I just, anyway, so this was a um, hand dye by Patrick, 14 count Ada. Um, this was his blue Kool-Aid dye that he did for me back in January. And then I went ahead and I did a coffee dunk, quick little dunk for it, just, I, just to tone it down. It was a little too, you would think like carry a color in your face. No, not so much, but it was just a little bright and something. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick. So she's got not only that berry basket, which is adorable. Um, she's got, let's see is my okay good so berry basket so she has and i i could do but she's got birds in a basket with the little daffodils so cute and then she's got robins and chickadees in a basket right here so she does little couple themes which are adorable and then also she's got these little heart themes which oh my gosh it was so hard for me to choose which one i wanted whether i wanted the hearts because those are super cute. There's a theme, like an autumn heart, a summer heart, a spring heart, and she just does, mm, hold on, let me see. I don't think that's not it. You know, when you get a phone call, when you're floss tubing, and you're like, hmm, that's an 864 area code. That's where my Noah is. Let's just make sure that's not something I, no, it was a, don't forget to pay your summer tuition. Hmm, okay. Um, anyway, so she's got these cute little heart patterns, uh, one for each season. Spring, autumn, what? Oh, there's no winter. I'm sure it's coming. And then this sweet little lavender one. But look at those cute little hearts. Let's see how big the hearts are. I'm sure they're all the same size. Look at that summer heart. I mean, is that not the sweetest with the little monarch butterfly? Oh my goodness. Um, it is 5.5 wide by three and a half on 16 count. Okay. So she doesn't give you the dimensions of the stitch in the description. It just says three and a half by five and a quarter on 16 count, which is a perfect, perfect little double. Or it could go in like a five by seven frame if you're more of a frame, which is obviously what she did. Um, super cute. So anyway, check her out. Her name is Jenny. I will link her Etsy shop. So she has 37 patterns on her Etsy shop, a little something for everyone. Um, so that's our featured designer for today. Surprise, I forgot to give you the word of the day. Remember, our designers are so graciously donating a PDF pattern as a giveaway for every day's video. So if you haven't watched, remember every day during Stitch Mania, I've got a free giveaway, which is super exciting. And today's word of the day is going to be 
strawberry because it's berries in a basket. Um, so the, use the word strawberry in your comment and um, I will use the random content comment YouTube picker. Um, I need to make sure that you like, subscribe and comment to be eligible to win. The drawings aren't until at least the second half of May. I haven't quite, quite nailed down when, but you've got plenty of time to comment and win. So good luck. So like I told you, I mean, I started off with my little blurb, but furniture, furniture finishing, it's kind of my jam. There's probably... I don't know, a handful, half a dozen different pieces around my house that are um, painted by me. Nothing's done in a neutral color, purple, orange. I know, where's that come from? Hmm, I don't know. Um, but I wanted to pop on here and my mother told me to tell you, and I'm a good listener. She is so, she was just blown away yesterday by all the love you guys gave her on her painting. When I shared her painting yesterday, I am going to walk around the house a little bit more because, although that's my favorite one, and they, someone did guess it. And she's like, you didn't tell them what it was inspired from. Yes, it's from inspired by um, a trip she took to Italy and lots of pictures she took. Um, and she kind of like mixed and matched and came up with her Cinque Terre type of... Anyway, so somebody guessed that it looks like... And you're right. That was her inspiration. Um, but she was so blown away and thankful and, and just really, really moved by all you guys loving on her paintings. And that's just one. So I've got big plans. I'll walk you around and show you some of the things. Actually, this week, I am busy doing graduation quilts. Yes, I'm also packing and moving. So crazy sleep overrated. But um, I am, it's, it's graduation quilt season. So I've got three or four more of those. I moved my long arm to my mama's house back early in the move because it's a big old beast and I needed to get it out of the studio. So it was a little bit more stageable. Um, so that is at her house all set up because I knew I was still going to need it up until like the final days. So it is set up over there. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do a little clip for you guys because listen, I have like three, four, five, half a dozen paintings of hers. Um, I don't have a lot of wall space. So I don't, it, this house, the new house has lots of walls, mama. Um, so, uh, but her house, is like paintings galore. And I just thought I'd maybe I'll show you all a little sneak peek. I know I gave you her a Christmas tour of her house, which is fantastic during Flossmas. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you. So that was the moral of the story is she wanted me to thank, thank you guys so much. She was sent, spent yesterday reading all of your sweet comments and, and she just loved them. So that is what I've got today, Stitch Mania friends. Uh, that's it. So I uh, hope you're having a great, what's today? Wednesday. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Get lots of stitching in and I'll see you tomorrow. Happy stitching!